DJ Jordy in the mix. Remixing service delivery in the city of Cape Town. If you need somebody to look after your potholes, your traffic <laughs> lights. The Antony. Not at all. They've all been filled thanks to one DJ that fills the playlist as well as he does potholes. DJ Jordy. Like that He's one. Call us good, eh? He's, in, he's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> You must that take is not with recorded, you. ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> off the cuff. You must take call with you when yeah. you do your runs. Nighttime DJ name. Ooh. You can catch me on Long Street. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Look, that's not a. That's not a very good okay. place to be caught. <laughs> you love Long Street. <laughs> this it was a little anecdote that came through. Hi, my name is Harper, and I would like to ask the mayor if we can please not get homework on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Harper. Good oh, one. Wow. Well, Harper, you can let us know what you, you can just drop a message to the line to let us know what school you're at. And I promise you, I will ask your teacher. I can't, I can't tell your teacher to not give you homework, but I will ask your teacher for you. Oh. I hope that I hope it helps. That is, that's that's a, cool. That's great. Look at that power there, Harper. We got you covered. It's so great. All right, the next one that came through. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor. Um, are you famous or not famous? <laughs> or oh, infamous? Is <laughs> a third option. <laughs> it depends on who you ask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In politics, yes, you. I suppose I'm reasonably well known, but hopefully for hopefully for good things. Otherwise, you become. Infamous, which is a word that <laughs> is uh, is like famous, but famous for the wrong reasons. Uh -huh. So you see, now we're doing read aloud day. I'm also d teaching you vocab as well. It's all part of literacy, isn't it? There you go. We are here for that today. The next one is uh, this one that came through. Mr. Mayor, how hard is it to be a mayor? Sure, you know, in Cape Town, it's an absolute pleasure, my boy. It's it's the, one of the greatest cities in the world, and it's really fun. It's a wonderful city filled with great people like you, and uh, I love it. I feel very privileged. Of course, it comes with lots of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got lots of people that, that don't have enough and, and need a lot of things in, in Cape Town and need a lot of assistance, mm -hmm. but you know what? It is still one of the best cities in the whole world, so I feel very lucky. Yeah, I don't understand how these Time Out magazine things can call us the second best city uh, I know. to visit. Why would they do that? And New York is number one. I'm confused. But the best is that that, that uh, article, that CNN Time Out ranking came out while I was in London. And they were only number four. And I had a whole, I had a whole lot of public speeches that I was making in yes. London. And literally, I mean, you can check this out on YouTube. I was, I was shameless. Totally shameless. Like, I was... I was that guy that just brags shamelessly. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's so nice to speak to you here in London. I come from Cape Town, the number two best city in the world. <laughs> just, only two spaces just above London at oh, number four. <laughs> Hi. I want to know what your day job is when you're not being the mayor. Sure. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, that is, look, being a mayor takes up a lot of time. So that is my day job yes. and sometimes my uh, evening job as well. But in all the free time that I have, I, I try to be a great uh, dad and, and husband. I've got, a, I've got a little girl. I'm sure she's listening to this. Uh, and uh, and that's, that's actually the most important job mm. is, is to, is to uh, try and be a great dad. That's so true you know, they, they say that charity begins at home i think that that's Absolutely. where that's where all of the uh the, the truth in your actions elsewhere mm -hmm. that comes to light like you have to be that person at home first you know and and i think this is great and you've been a great daddy to the city <laughs> <laughs> wow someone, did someone bring the cheese platter i think it was the call with him <laughs> yeah have you got I don't a TikTok think, account? I do. Yes. Now you just now you just admitted that you don't follow me, which is oh, like a big. I'm big not lying. I haven't. I'm not oh. so. I'm gonna get involved. I'm gonna get involved. I'm gonna follow you on TikTok. I hope you do fun things on TikTok. I do. Though. I Lots do. of fun things. Like Especially what kind of fun things? Like the sewer stuff. It's great. Have you ever seen Jordan <laughs> in a pit while they black their day on your hands, TikTok? Hands uh, full. Yes. So while they're upgrading really? the sewer lines, yeah, they're kind of doing maintenance. So remember, we want to make sure the city's ablution facilities and all of that is intact. That's it. And you don't like just send the municipality to sort it out. Mm. Do you know who's in the hut? Who? Jordan. Getting your hands dirty. In the, the mud. 
Love. In the mud. Sit it with the big it's, it's, boots. Did you, did you think it was mud? But the, you know, I'm saying that because we work on a, a public broadcasting station. But you know, so, so yeah, that day he dealt with a lot of No, there's mud. lots of great fresh content there. Uh, yes. Uh, Terrence, you've you got to... You gotta, you gotta get involved. Let me take a, a listen to this one. Uh, this one came yes. to Hello, Master Maya. Hello. I'm lazy. Dude, what? I so, it. I okay, it. it was. Hello, Master Maya. Do you cook or are you lazy? Just listen again. Hello, Master Maya. Do you cook or are you lazy? <laughs> You think, now we're getting down no, to the, the answer uh, is one hundred percent lazy. I do oh. not cook. I make toast. <laughs> Uh, that's no. good. Like uh, scrambled eggs. Fantastic. Um, what else? Two minute noodles. Are you impressed yet? I'm. I'm really impressed. Though. I mean, obviously, as the mayor, the thing is, you get things done. I thought you were going to say something like, you you make two minute noodles in a minute and a half. <laughs> I mean, that would be like really impressive. But okay, I uh, can do that. Not even just, Bry. They'll still be no. I do, I, Bry is Karen, cooking. That is like that's me. proper. Don't insult me. You Bry. It's like a different genre. It is of yeah. making food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, right, and I know yes. we've discussed before. I, I make pancakes uh, every Saturday. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's, that's our family tradition. It's okay. Cool. That is so that's cool. cool. Hello, Mr. Mayor. It's actually me, Mason. I want to oh. say, is it possible for you to run for president? Hello, Mace. What a sweet boy. <laughs> Guys, you don't understand how amazing this kid is. Well, do you know Mason? I do. Oh. He's, he's, he's friends with my, my daughter. Oh, come on. They are great friends. And he, <laughs> this is such a sweet boy. Yes. Mace, you are amazing. Oh. And, uh, and I'm sure one day I will, even if, even if just, just for you, boy. How's it, Mr. Mayor? How many free gigs do you go to? I'm pretty sure you must go to a lot of free gigs. Lucky you, Mr. Mayor. Ah, and Jordan, thanks for doing an awesome job. I get to see a lot of great uh, acts in the city. Yes. And lots of <laughs> uh, fantastic talent. Uh, thank you for this. Yes. <laughs> great but, question. <laughs> but I think it's also important to field every question that How we, old was that, that get. How old was that uh, kid? That this, just... is, this, this kid is, I think, uh, 43. <laughs> now, um... <laughs> I thought this was the kids' question session. Sorry. No, no, no. Some, some. The adults have jumped on board. They're like, okay. the mayor's there. I've got so many questions. <laughs> Come on. Mr. Mayor, I would like to know what is being done around the traffic in Cape Town. To drive an hour and a half from the suburbs into town center is just absolutely bizarre. There's about 900,000, let's say, uh, a million people in our city that used to use the trains yeah. that now use some kind of road transport, either buses, taxis, or private cars. Mm. And that is putting huge strain. And that's why we have uh, and continue to fight so hard to, to actually take over the management of the passenger trains in Cape Town by the city. There's very mm -hmm. few cities anywhere in the world where the city does not run public transport in that city. Mm. If you go to New York, that's the case. If you go to Hong Kong, that's the case. Every major city. Mm. And so we we are very intent on doing that because that's going to make the biggest difference mm. uh, to getting people around the city easier is when you have a functioning rail transport system. Mm. Until that happens, we're still r rolling out our My City system and we're just busy now with a huge 8 billion rand rollout to uh, Kailicha and, and Mitchell's Plain to the southeast of the city, connecting up uh, into Claremont and then through to the CBD. Yeah. Uh, so that is under construction right now. And we'll carry on rolling that out uh, uh, over the next few year, years. But really, the, the thing that's going to make the key difference uh, is in a city of our size is, is functioning trains. You know, I, I, I do have these dreams of having that sort of uh, system of fluidity so you can Go from your place to the CBD, enjoy a good party there, then come back and still feel safe. I think that's mm. one of the things that our, our, our city, on a tourism level and exploring it wise, that would be so great to see in a lot more. And I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get to that level. Of course, things take time, but it's good to know that there's a, a focus on it too. Absolutely. I hope that everyone uses our either our city app. You can, you can report uh, service requests on our city app. Yes. Or on the service requests uh, portal the yeah. website which i keep as a favorite on my browser yeah yeah uh, and and i just go to it i use it several times a day myself uh, and there you can go and create your service request you can search for whatever 
uh, topic it is, whether it relates to roads or water, whatever the case is, you can drop a pin as well, which is one of the new functionalities we've That's added. Cool. You can drop a pin so that you can leave the exact coordinates for our teams to find. Yeah. And what a lot of people were asking for, they were saying, but I got this message that says this, uh, this thing is fixed, but I'm standing here and it's not fixed. And, uh, and so you can actually query whether a, a message that you've received from the city, that SMS, mm -hmm. whether that work has actually been done. You, you can do that online as well, and that's going to escalate it to, to someone's manager, and, and, and they're yeah. going to check that that work has actually been done. So there's a lot of nice, I think, usability, customer mm -hmm. user interface improvements that, that we've put in the system. Uh, and that's a constant effort to just make it easier to do do business and interact with the city. Uh, you will see if you go to any of our payment halls, you'll see you can pay with a QR code now. You can pay with Apple Pay. Uh, you, you've seen, I hope, the QR code on your bills every month uh, yeah. that, where you can just snap scan. So we always try to just the, all those little marginal improvements that just make it slightly easier for you. Accessibility is very, mm. very important mm. for that. But thank you. I just wanted to make sure that's a, it's a good blanket over the, the query questions that naturally you're a mayor. You're going to get a lot of them coming through the WhatsApp line. And I think it's quite important to just address any of those. Uh, there's but another one. Let yes. me just say we've, yes, got, we've got about 250,000 people who've downloaded our city app already okay. and are using it uh, almost daily. Uh, it's a great app. You can see what's on in Cape Town, all the all the events that uh, that Carl and Taryn and others are emceeing. <laughs> uh, and you can also log your service request. You can get emergency notifications from the city, various other things. Uh, please go and download the app if you haven't done so already. Please advise if it's possible to have a My City bus that goes to Cape Town CBD from Burgundy Estate and back. Now, can I just open this up for a second? How does one... I'm going to say campaign to get a My City bus stop in an area that, let's just say, is underserviced by public transport. Is mm. there a way to do that? The project to roll out the bus service uh, now to Mitchell's Plain and Kailicha is an 8 billion rand project. It's the biggest infrastructure project in the whole Western Cape at okay. the moment. And it's, it really is stretching the ability of the city to pay for something, a project that big. So... The truth is the city intends to expand the My City to many more parts uh, of the metro over the years ahead. But it is all affordability dependent. We, mm. have, to, uh, we have to pay for these, these dedicated lanes, which are extremely expensive, and new buses and uh, all of that. Increasingly, we, we have to buy electric buses, which are even more expensive. Mm. So uh, I don't know exactly when the rollout is planned for Burgundy. I, I uh, as, as I'm sure you know, live right next door, so uh, I'd love that myself. But, but I don't think it's any time in the near future because of the uh, priority of rolling it out to uh, parts in in the southeast of the city where where we're currently under construction. And now let's get to a question that'll open up what I was chatting about around a power innovation. The great thing is that a little earlier when the kids were asking questions. Uh, there was something very interesting that came through that I think lends itself to to what you need to share with regards to a new innovation. This is what came through. Hey Carl, I'm Caleb and I would like to ask the mayor, when is load shedding going to stop? When is load shedding going to stop? A kid asked that. However, I'm hearing about a new innovation that could make us power heroes and I wanted to give you the platform mm. for sharing the rollout of this. What is it going to look like? What is a power hero? Okay, a power hero is any Cape Tonian family uh, who volunteers, and I stress volunteers, to yes. have the city install a Wi-Fi enabled device in your home yeah. that allows your geezer to be toggled on and off during the peak hours of the day when there is most pressure on the grid. And we will cover the cost of that installation. And if enough homes sign up, we're targeting 30,000 homes across yes. the city. That sounds like a big number, but remember, we're a city of 5 million people, so yeah. it's actually not that huge a number. Mm. Uh, then we can actually save the city an entire stage of load shedding for everyone on the city's grid. So 30,000 people sign up to be uh, power heroes. Mm. Everyone on the city grid gets one stage less of load shedding. So it's a, it's a huge payoff, uh, and, and that's why we're calling it power heroes, because you will literally be a hero to the whole city. Uh, in helping us to stop load shedding. So, Caleb, that is not going to end load shedding. That's going to be another stage of protection. Now, you know Cape Town 
already protect by one stage. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we can do two stages as well. Mm. Uh, and now we will be able to have an additional stage if enough power heroes sign up, let me, let me add. And so as we add more and more power to the grid here in Cape Town, mm. Caleb, to answer your question, we are going to move higher and higher up through the stages of load shedding protection until we can say goodbye to it uh, once and for all. We are determined to do that. Uh, and, and that's why we're buying power. We're making it easier for people to install uh, solar. Last time we spoke about yes. mm. cheaper meters, and I know even as I'm saying this, people are going to be sending into the WhatsApp line mm. where the cheaper meters, they <laughs> are available. You can now order cheaper meters at 50% of the price that they were last year. Mm. Uh, that's exactly what we promised, and that is now available. We Soon we're going live with a totally automated approval system where you can get approval to install in a few days. Uh, so all of these things over time, it's not like there's a load shedding button on, on the desk uh, where we can just switch it off immediately. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to do that. But you've got to add sources of power and uh, layer them on top of each other mm -hmm. into the city grid over time. And then you can kick yeah. load shedding. In the bus. Goodbye. <laughs> I, you, you said it. I said it. Thank you. <laughs> I've been to, the, I've been to the, the main center and there are certain frequency sensitivities and that's why it's not as easy as just going, don't switch it off. Yeah. There's actually like a boat that they're balancing with frequency of power coming through at a certain time, which is so fascinating to me. Have and you been to our network control? Yes. Oh, it's, am it's it, super high tech. It yeah, is, it's amazing. It, it looks like the FBI. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Also, yeah. I signed an NDA. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but so, okay, back to, to Power Hero. Let me just get a, an idea what this looks like. So I'm going to get a Wi-Fi device just installed. Yeah. I'm assuming that this is a battery backed up Wi-Fi device. It's attached yes. to my Giza. I just have yeah. to say it. I know it sounds obvious. So it's a battery backed up Wi-Fi device and that means that you can remotely switch off my Giza at certain times. Naturally with lifestyles changing and fluctuating, those certain times that we volunteered to get switched off, um, are those things that can be amended or is it saying I call in my household to have signed up as a power hero and that means that I know that my geezer is going to be off from mm. this time and that time yes. to help the overall gl uh, grid. Is that what I'm signing up for? The biggest target is is during those hours of the day when the grid is under most pressure. So oh, that right. is your morning peak, roughly, let's say, 5 a.m. To, to 8 a.m. Yes. And your evening peak from about 6 p.m. until uh, 8 or 9 p.m. Okay. That, that is when uh, the, the most pressure on the grid is and when you are most likely to have load shedding. And, and so if we can save an, an entire stage of load shedding by just switching off, because remember, this is, a lot of people don't know this. In most n or, uh, normal families' homes, your geezer is 30 to 40% of your electricity usage. So more than a third mm. of your entire electricity mm. bill is from your geezer. Sure. Uh, so if you can just switch those, that off for a couple of hours, you're not even going to notice it in your in your water temperature, mm. and uh, you can you can help save the city an entire stage. On the city grid, by the way, because I know you're going to get questions about this as well. Yes. On the city grid, on the city are, grid, okay. There are unfortunately about 25 percent, 20 percent of the city that is still directly ESCOM supplied, yeah. and and they unfortunately do not benefit from our load shedding protection. And I know, for example, in the last few days there was a uh, there was an outage in Boetesach that was several days, mm. uh, I, th I think more than 36 hours, mm. and ESCOM just was not repairing it. Uh, we, are, we are asking continuously to, for ESCOM to hand over all those areas so the city can take it over, take the headache off their shoulders, Great. the head off or whatever, the burden off their shoulders, yeah. and, and we'll do it. Mm. Uh, but but we're not getting much of an answer. So, so I know that someone's going to ask you about that, and that, mm -hmm. uh, I just want to answer that up front. So next big thing, uh, let's go two last things. One of them is that we actually have a shower in this building mm. as a business. Can businesses yes. join Power Great Heroes? Great question. Businesses can also be Power Heroes. Uh, if, they, if they have geezers, some of them have multiple geezers. Yes. So they absolutely can, uh, and businesses should please sign up to be a Power Hero as well. Second, on, in fact, final question, how does one sign up to be a Power Hero, and is there a cape that you hand over to us? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a great idea. I'm actually. just saying, it's, I think it's a great idea. We live in the cape, we get a cape, we're a Power Hero, why not? Wow. I mean, just, uh, that is a great idea. I think we should, because we've got Bingo, the litter mascot. Maybe we it. should have a little... Yes. Call the caped power hero. <laughs> Wow. You know, I've, been, I've been waiting for either a key to the city or some acknowledgement, you know, so this could be it. I'll be your Sparky.
<laughs> you know, I'll do that for you. But so, but sorry, so, so how do you sign up okay. to be? I want my. So, cake. so firstly, we've we've appointed a, a service provider to to go and uh, try and sign up Power Hero. So, yes. so that service provider will be in contact with people uh, over the coming months. But people can also register their interest if they go to Cape Town Power Heroes. That's one word: Cape yes. Town Power Heroes. Yep. Co. Za. They can actually sign up there as well. That's going to be it's it's a it's really great. And I want to confirm that when you're a power hero, this Wi-Fi device will only switch off your geezer. Because I've got actually, a, you can volunteer to have it include your pool pump. I think very few that's people, cool. very few people have their pool pump on during peak hours yeah. anyway. But if you do, uh, then it's another me- one. Just mention it, and and uh, we can certainly include that. Wow, and you can be a double hero. This is great. Imagine this Wi-Fi device just switches off everything you want off for two hours. And it'd be wonderful. No, my dogs just start yapping oh, at a I certain see. time. You know no, what I mean? Imagine you press that thing. It's yapping. I've stopped. I'm just kidding. But, you know, thank you very much for coming in today and spending some time with us. Awesome. I know that we're making you late Absolute for John pleasure. Matham's show. No, but, it's all um, good. I'm, okay? I'm following you on Twitter now. I mean, on TikTok. <laughs> thank you. I was looking for the video with you in the mud, but I didn't find it yet. So I'm hoping to see a nice cooking video. Oh, ooh, pancakes, 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 pancakes. Pancakes yeah. Saturday. I'm not sure how many people want to see me making toast, or but I can post a video bun. of the <laughs> Like something liquor or something at the bri. But okay, in, enjoy and thank you so much for joining thank us once again. Time. I just thank wanted to give you. I'm going to send guys. this over to, to your next interview, but it's been an honor having DJ Jordy. And thanks DJ to all the kids. Jordy in the mix on KFM 94.5.